monuments, they're also places of history. The Lincoln Memorial was originally meant as a memorial to not Lincoln the Great Emancipator, but to Abraham Lincoln, the preserver of the Union. And by virtue of the fact of using that as a fulcrum or a place to continue the process of reconciliation between North and South, it then became, without any intention on the part of Henry Bacon, the architect, or the sculptor, Daniel Chester French, a place of history, where in 1939, Marian Anderson goes and gives her concert there on Easter Sunday because she's denied uh, singing in DAR Constitution Hall or in, in uh, DC Public School because she's black. Same year, 1939, Frank Capra makes that place, the Lincoln Memorial, the setting of, the, the critical, pivotal setting of Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. In fact, if you read Capra's memoirs, if you read his autobiography, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington is a movie about Lincoln. It's a movie rooted in the morality of Lincoln. 1963, Dr. King uses it, well not just Dr. King, but the leaders of the March on Washington use it as a place to put forward their position on jobs and equality. So not only is the Lincoln Memorial a monument, but it's now a place of history as well. Uh, that's the best example we have in the United States.